So 2020 has been one heck of a year so far. No doubt you have felt some level of pain and everybody has and it's so dependent on whether you're living with kids, whether you've got older people that you're looking after, what your work situation is. We get it. It has been painful. But now is the time to look to 2021. You see, there's still some of the year left. And if you put your heart into it, and if you really focus, 2021 will be completely different. I love the Stephen Covey Seven Habits of Effective People book. In that book, Stephen talks about a university professor who puts into a jar different rocks, pebbles and sand. With the first jar, he fills up with the sand first then the little rocks and then the big rocks. Now the big rocks don't all fit in. So what's the lesson with this? Because when you put those big rocks in first, the smaller pebbles fit in around those rocks and the sand just blends in and he ends up holding the most. I can tell you 2021 will be like that. You have to put the big things in place first. Work out what your heart's desire is and put that in place first. If learning about trading is your heart's desire, you have to nail this now. Book out the time. Do everything that you can to make sure 2021 is the year for you. Just on that notion of big things first, the unfortunate thing you find in all endeavours is that people tend to concentrate on the periphery, these small things, and I think what's happened is we get this, look, I won't say nonsense notion, but overblown notion of 1%. If you make 1% changes, then things magically happen. That neglects the other 99% of all changes. And you see this in all sorts of things. I'm a bit of a fan of longevity science. When you read the literature, you see people talking about uh, whether they should take rampamycin, whether they should take metformin, uh, whether they should they get their telomeres measured. These are all one percenters. What they should be doing in terms of longevity is eating well, sleeping well, having friends, big things. Uh, too often we look for these little distractions. Traders do the same thing. Traders look for distractions. Should my RSI be 12 or 14? As opposed to what's the big picture and what am I doing with the big picture? When I look at how you've had your backyard done recently, I mean, it's completely a renovation if you can have a backyard renovation. Those landscape architects put in those big plants first. The really big plants went in and then they moved down to the small little moss and the tiny little things. I'm comparing that to a friend of mine. She's just moved in and it's a great backyard. It's, it's a huge backyard. She has bought maybe 500 succulents, tiny little, tiny little plants, and she's putting those in first. And given that you started at roughly the same time, I can tell you whose backyard looks more finished. Those big things count. It's my backyard because <laughs> it's now finished and now we're doing all the little clean up stuff such as the pool is in, but the thing is you put the pool in first before you put the pool fence in. So now the pool fence is going in. E everything in life comes in an order. And the unfortunate thing is people get the order back to front and that stymies their progress completely. So what are the basic building blocks that you need to establish for 2021 to see you through to the next three to five years? I'll bet you trading is on your list. If you're listening to this video in your heart, you know, you know that this is for you. In that feeling, that emotion, that bubble of excitement, that's where you need to place yourself. And that's why we're running the mentor program just for you. Six month, repeat for free, support for life. We keep working for your goals for free until you get them once you've done the mentor program. This is our 21st year of running the mentor program. Oh my gosh. Yes, we've been working together longer than that, Christopher. Oh dear God. <laughs> and we're looking forward to welcoming you in the front door.